Hey Scorpio, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, so it's time. I feel like it's time. I needed a break from us, <laughs> but we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off. All right. Um, thank you, Spirit. I feel like saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe you need to show some gratitude. Okay. But um, I want to start off by getting some cards for who you could be dealing with or what could be uh, coming towards you or what could be impacting your energy right now. All right. What signs could be impacting your energy right now? heavily involved in your energy messages of love and light always the Scorpio we're gonna grab three okay Gemini guys could be dealing with the Gemini Cancer guys could be dealing with the Cancer and Taurus guys could be dealing with the Taurus wow okay I'm getting that four, five, six, seven energy um, with these signs here. All right, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. We will remember that. I'm gonna remember that. All right, all right. Let's start off with some tarot cards. Scorpio, what's going on with you, my love? My love, just know I feel you. I understand you, Scorpio sun. All right, messages of love and light for Scorpio. Whoa, I see the two of swords. You may have a decision to make. Um, the lovers came out, and maybe in regards to love, also Gemini energy. Okay, oh, nine of pentacles. You could be trying to decide if you want to be single or if you want to invest in a love connection with someone maybe you appreciate being single <laughs> i'm hearing fruits of your labor maybe you feel like you're more productive when you're single when you do things on your own ace of pentacles reverse ace of wands here both of these aces coming out here <clears throat> i feel that you need to focus more on your passions rather than um your your typical way of making money so say for example you have a job maybe you've given a lot of time to that a lot of energy to that a lot of focus to that and i feel spirit is asking you to pay attention uh, pay attention to things that you love to do ace of wands pay attention to things that really drive you that motivate you that inspire you and you may realize that it brings you some type of benefit maybe even more than what you're used to doing okay nine of pentacles is really sticking out to me right now some of y'all could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn we did see taurus come out all right you can learn a thing or two from a taurus you can learn how to be independent how to thrive maybe even have your own business maybe you want to maybe you've been indecisive about your financial path with the ace of pentacles reverse being on top of the two of swords it's like maybe you've been conflicted about whether you're uh, uh, what direction you should go in whether or not you should have your own business or whether you should just continue on doing what you've been doing should i do what i love or should i do what's been working for me what's comfortable for me what's allowed me to be so independent okay but i feel that someone is going to come through or something is coming through to help you assist you with getting something off the ground something you're very passionate about somebody's going to give you some um some gems, some knowledge, some information, resources on how to do something on your own. Independence. True independence. You have the King of Cups reverse. All right. So whatever this is or whoever this is coming in towards you. We also have the higher font. Strong Taurus energy. All right. This is someone that could possibly be, you know, they're not they're not that emotional. Maybe you feel like they're a bit harsh. <laughs> maybe you feel like they're they're like you're we know you scorpio so you're led by your emotions for the most part you're also led by that fire energy of mars your passions okay but i feel with the king of cups coming out reverse maybe the person that's coming in trying to teach you something the mentor right the teacher the higher front maybe they're a little bit um straight forward straight to the point uh, they don't really cut corners. They're not going to sugarcoat it. They're not going to coddle you. They're going to just give it to you straight. You need that. You need that 
for whatever business you're looking to step into or whatever you're trying to do independently, you need that type of like gritty, you know, that grittiness. You need that, that truth teller. Okay. Is what I'm getting with this. Now is not the time for someone to try to butter you up or make you believe that all is going to be easy and everything is just going to be, everything is just perfectly fine. Everybody's going to like what you produce and everybody's going to be on your side and on your team. It's not realistic. This person is definitely a realist. They consider themselves a realist. So the information they're giving you is straight from knowledge, experience, okay? They're not telling you some shit that they just looked up. They're telling you some shit that they've personally experienced in their, you know, own their own um, time you can trust this person you can trust this person Scorpio and uh, it's amazing that we got those cards that came out first we had what Gemini um, Cancer and Taurus if we get the chariot that'll be funny too but uh, the lovers came out which is also Gemini's uh, major arcana and then the Hierophant came out Taurus's major arcana so these these signs they are very very impactful in your life right now Scorpio pay attention pay attention all right what else we got for Scorp yeah the Sun reverse three of Pentacles six of Pentacles reverse all right so Scorpio if your deal was hidden seven of pentacles you you're focused on something try not to uh scrutinize too long to where you you create disappointments for yourself the sun here being reversed some of you all can be dealing with the leo where can this person or this situation benefit you should be your question don't focus on what you want them to be how you want to see them, how you want them to respond, how you, okay, because the three of pentacles is here. This is about collaboration. It's about teamwork. Everybody has a role that they're uh, powerful in. Everybody has a, a specific talent or gift that is true to them, okay? So if you say, for example, have a skill, but you don't necessarily have the gift of gab, someone coming in could have the gift of gab, but they don't have the skill. So if you guys collaborate together, you guys could benefit from that together, right? But if you try to get this person to also understand your skill, learn the skill, and you know, and then they try to convince you to be more like them, talk like them, and you know, hustle like them, you may realize that it's going to create disappointments. Okay, this doesn't even have to be in business. Well, I'm picking up very strong business energy. It could even be a lover turn mentor, business partner, or something like that. A lover that comes in that could really guide you and assist you with uh, some type of independence in your life. However, if this is just strictly love and it has nothing to do with business, which I doubt, this is just to say, accept a person for who they are. Accept them for what they bring to the table. Y'all not going to always be the same. Six of Pentacles reversed, you're not going to bring the same things to the table. Okay? So you're going to have to be able to be okay with that. If you can then you got something here that you could benefit from and they could benefit from. But if you try to force your mind frame, your talents, your perspective onto this person and you want them to be just like you, you're going to be highly disappointed. Highly disappointed. Accept them for who they are. Accept them for what they bring. Okay? Um, okay. Let me get some of these tarot cards. as well I like this because it's saying that you know maybe you could be introduced to someone like opposites attract energy I'm hearing one more one more shuffle okay I see the six of swords walking away from being stagnant being indecisive about something, gaining more clarity on something. Messages just for Scorpio. 
star. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Beautiful, hope, calm, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality, fortune, good omen, rejuvenation. I love this energy. This is a yes card. This is definitely something coming through that's going to, again, if you allow the difference and accept the difference, you're going to benefit from it greatly. You're going to benefit from it greatly. And this person is definitely going to feel the same way about you. Okay, they're going to feel the same way about you. Like, wow, I never would have thought of that. I never would have. You got the skill. <laughs> hey, I'm just here to push you forward. Get in management with the uh, higher front coming out. Okay, ten of swords reverse. It can't get worse. Maybe you feel that it's, it's too bad. I don't want to involve nobody. You could even be a little bit embarrassed or ashamed to share your experiences, what you've been through. Um... You know, your your trials and tribulations, you may not want to share that with everybody. Maybe you don't trust easily. Maybe you're a bit indecisive about whether or not you should open up to this person. You know, what if it's going to be in just another letdown, just another disappointment? This is saying that there's hope here. There's hope here. Whatever you're dealing with, whoever you have coming. I saw 11, 11. This could be so many energy. Whatever you have coming in, whoever's coming in, it's like... um. This person is very forgiving, okay? They're very forgiving. So if you particularly cross this person, I feel this person is forgiving. They're not dwelling on the past. If you didn't cross this person and this is a new person and you're just afraid to open up to them about your past and things that you dealt with or whatever the case may be, this person, they're not, they're not judgmental. They're not looking at you the way that you could be harshly criticizing yourself. They're not doing that. They're not doing that. They Again, they have a completely different perspective from you. All right, so I'm hearing one man's trash, another man's treasure. All right, so well, you could be looking at something that's horrible, completely unforgivable. Like, I, I can't believe I did that or I can't believe I accepted that. Whatever the case may be, this person is like, mm, I'm not that serious. You know, it's like they, they're, the way that they think is very different from you. And that's a benefit again. Now, if they thought like you, they may be criticizing you harshly like you criticize yourself harshly, okay? So there's a benefit to this person being very different from you, okay, Scorpio? Oh, I see here the Five of Swords, some type of conflict. And I was just in the middle of the deck, flipped over. It didn't even pop out. So it's like, you know, somewhere up in there, somewhere part of that journey, there's going to be some conflict. It may just be a conflict of speaking, um, thinking like you know you want or this person may come into some type of conflict when it comes to how you speak to each other or the difference of how you guys um, think and this is saying like disagreements will happen okay um, you're not going to always see eye to eye try not to dwell too much on that try to move on from that try to learn whatever you need to learn from that and you know keep it going don't dwell too much on it okay you may even feel like this person could be a bit of a bully they don't listen to you you know it may really get you a bit down and out if you feel this person doesn't hear you out all right or maybe you've dealt with situations like this from the past and that's the reason you're so guarded scorpio a lot of conflict a lot of people who overlook your opinion gaslight you you know, bullies, sneaky people. You could have felt like, I don't want no more of that. You don't want no more aggressive, passive aggressive. Like, people that's just doing too much. I was just like, I'm not giving you that. I come in here hopeful, peaceful, and all that. I don't give you all that. Why do you want to beat me when I'm down? Yeah, so you, you, you just don't want to feel defeated, and you don't want anybody to be able to take advantage of you while you're in this vulnerable space i get it okay scorpio the judgment is here this is you judging yourself this is you judging yourself scorpio scorpionic energy all right rebirth inner calling a new phase absolution reckoning awakening redemption forgiveness mercy it's a yes card it's a yes card and it's to say like, hey, you, it, it didn't, it didn't destroy you. There's only, you know, there's only room to go up. There's only upward movement, 
Okay, there's no such thing. It's no lower you can go than the Ten of Fucking Swords reverse. So it's saying, okay, yeah, I had to break you down. I had to show you who these people were, even if it hurt you, Scorpio, for you to be able to build yourself back up again. And now I'm bringing you in. I'm ushering, I'm hearing, ushering in new energy, worthy energy, helpful energy, supportive energy. So it's like you could be seeing your life change right before your eyes and all the people that you thought were going to be there with you for the long haul, they're not there with you no more. Now you got new people coming in and you're like, I can't trust them. I don't even know them. Spirit is doing something to bring you enlightenment, encouragement, trying to inspire you and show you that you can continue to move on. Don't allow the circumstances to defeat you, to stop you. What's hidden from you? You have the temperance reverse, okay? Imbalance, excess, extremes, overindulgence, alcoholism, addiction, self-healing, realignment, okay? It's also a yes card. With it being in reverse, you know, you could take it as a no or you could take it as an opportunity, okay? You could take it as an opportunity to realign yourself, to heal yourself, to accept what happened in the past, accept who hurt you in the past, forgive who hurt you in the past, forgive yourself, and move on you know the best way to do it you know is to have faith to have hope when you close yourself off it's like why even do that to yourself mm, that's heavy we're gonna get off of it <laughs> that's heavy 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 you got so heavy on me all right Let's lighten this thing on up. Because it's heavy. We're going to light it up. Messages, index cards from the person that has you on their mind. We're going to start off with the, you know, general messages that they have for you. And then we'll jump into the triple X rated messages, Scorpio. Okay. I'm going to get about five of these cards. And then we'll uh, go from there person that has you on their mind, Scorpio, what would they like to say to you at this time? Maybe there's a no contact situation. I just saw exclusive flip over. Maybe someone wants to be exclusive with you. They're not telling you this. They're keeping that from you. We did see that cancer energy earlier. So it's moon energy. Secrets. Someone could be like a secret admirer. They want to be with you. Alright, I'd rather be with you. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Regrets. Again, this is coming up heavy. We we alright now. I had a clue what you were doing. Watching you. Making peace with it. Mm. Wishing you the best. Again, what's what's hidden? Anxiety. Don't let the pressure get to your head. Yeah, it's like it's still heavy. Okay, I'm looking for some light messages. <laughs> Make me a happy home. I'm looking for the light messages. So still look stuck in the past, but someone stuck in the past. Whether it be you or the person that is thinking about you. Stuck in the past. Still watching you. Still got regrets. Still feeling like, you know, I, I should have never crossed Scorpio. I should have never did Scorpio wrong. Yada, yada, yada. Boom, boom, boom. You know, but it's like, you know, make peace with it. Maybe you've already made peace with it. Or you're needing to make peace with it. It's almost like the more you hold a grudge against this person, the more you block out the new that's coming in for you and you're, you know, creating these walls or whatever for the, the new trying to come into you, the more you give power or attachment to the past is what this is saying. It's like you're going to be stuck in the past until you forgive the past and allow yourself to be open to something new is what I'm getting with this. You're not hurting anybody by holding on to what someone did to you. It's like move forward. You really want to you know, show yourself some strength, move on. 
move on. It's not saying jump into a whole nother relationship because the last one didn't work. No, it's saying forgive that that didn't work out and be happy and grateful that you're still here to try again. Okay? You, you have that option. You have that opportunity to try again, to get to know more people, to see what works for you and what doesn't. Now you know what you don't want. It should be easier for you to find what you do. Okay? So someone has some heavy regrets about the way that they did you. I feel this person is watching you move on, watching you be happy, and it's pissing them off. Okay, I feel like they put on this disguise with that moon energy. They put on this disguise that they're happy for you. And really, you know, it's like they, they're watching you and they're upset with the fact that you're moving on. It's time for them to make peace with your decision. Maybe you moved on from someone and they're just refusing to accept it. Okay, it's time for them to make peace with that. They could be coming into terms with the reality check that you're not theirs. <laughs> you don't belong to them anymore. They could watch you all they want to, but you're not theirs. The more they watch you, the more they regret how they did. The more they regret how they did you. All right, let's get some of our X-rated <laughs> messages for you, Scorpio. And then I'm going to close it on out because I feel like a little bit drained now. I feel like I need to take a nap after energy and just seem like dwelling. And that's why I've been doing so many <laughs> Taurus readings because it's usually a bit like um, the Scorpios. It hits home for me, for us, you know, sometimes when I do these. So let's get some messages maybe from the new energy trying to come through. What are they feeling? What are they feeling about that baby Scorpio? Messages from the person that has you on their mind, Scorpio. What are they feeling? We'll get five of these. All right. Got me calling every day trying to see what's up with it. Ooh, somebody is like really checking you out. They feeling you. Mm, they got a thing for you, Scorpio. They got a thing for you. This person, and maybe you used to being a bit nonchalant and just kind of like mm, whatever i'll wait for them to call me type but this person now is like you know okay you got me you got me on your little your little leash right now i'm gonna see what's up with it i'm gonna keep calling i'm gonna bug you a little bit i'll chase you a little bit so they got their running shoes on they're chasing you a little bit and this person usually doesn't chase <laughs> all right what else you got for you scorpio i want all of you right now Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So somebody is definitely like fantasizing about having you, being with you, being intimate with you. They want every bit of you. All right, they want to taste you. I'm here. I'm gonna look you up and down till you say stop. Who's that silk? Okay. If you got the time, then I got the time. Okay. I love this energy here. This person is like, hey, whatever you with, I'm with. You say the word, I'm down. This person is on go, okay? They're they're willing to accept the challenge. They're willing to chase you, all right? Whatever type of time you want, they gonna take heed to it is what I'm getting with that. You look so familiar, all right? This person, they feel that you're someone that feels like home to them, okay? They feel like they could trust you. They feel like you, maybe you guys started off as friends. Maybe you guys built up a connection first before you actually started to become intimate or maybe this is something that you will do. Uh, with this new energy here, but someone is definitely feeling like, you know, I accept you flaws and all I want all of you right now. They accept you flaws and all they love it. They love your little quirky side. They love whatever you consider to be a flaw. They like that shit. If you got the time, then I got the time. It, it's like if you are open to answering the call, they're going to call. The more you answer, the more they're going to call. The more you respond, the more they're going to text. Okay, you feel like home to this person. They feel safe with you, is what I'm getting. I can't stop thinking about you and your body. Trust and believe, there's something going on with your body that this person is very into. All right, they, they watch you. What's hidden? A freaking them, one of them freaking them, even just like me. Yeah, this person is definitely looking at you like you, you match their vibe. You match their vibe. Okay, they feel that, you know, they want to show you their freaky side. Maybe this person has that has been hiding that freaky side. Maybe you guys have been a bit platonic for the most part. And they want to show you that there's so much more to them. 
okay they want to show you that there is so much <laughs> more to them maybe they're well endowed but they definitely want to um, expose themselves to you and they want you to feel confident I'm hearing not even just comfortable but confident exposing yourself to them because they like it they like it maybe you feel a little bit like mm, I got a little gut <laughs> I got a little Mm, a little burn right there <laughs> Got a little bullet wound <laughs> it's person like let me see all of you i want all of you i accept all of you like hey whatever type of time you want i'm on it like they adore you they admire you they don't give a fuck about nothing that went on before them their pat your past your insecurities and all that they don't care about none of that they ain't even trying to hear none of that so <laughs> Sounds good if you ask me. I think I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I love this for you. We still got a few minutes. Let me get you. Ooh, let me get your Oracle cards and then we'll close it. How about that? How about that? Get your Oracle cards or an, an Oracle card. And then we'll close it out. Okay, I'll read that Oracle card message. And then we'll close that video now. All these people call my phone. All right. Kind of, kind of, kind of wanted to come out. I'm going to check and see what it is if nothing else comes out. Oh, something else flipped over. Okay. You got here, what is holy, what is true? Appreciation, witnessing, the unmerited gift of grace. Okay, number 14. I want to see what this was that I almost wanted to flip over. This is every word has power. Ooh, education, power of persuasion, communication, internal dialogue, 27. Reducing down to nine. I'm going to read both of those for you, Scorpio. They both came out in the upright. So let's see. Let's get it. Let's start off with 14 since it came out first. What is holy? What is true? All right. Recognizing the sacred quality of life, appreciation, witnessing the unmerited gift of grace, miracles. You got a miracle coming through. You got a miracle coming through. All right, Scorpio. There are moments when your entire being resonates with the sacred, knowing that you are in the right place. You stand in a place of witnessing, of being present, and in deep appreciation. This can effortlessly, this can happen effortlessly when you practice daily gratitude and choose to see the world and everything in it as a sacred gift from the divine. When you are so connected to spirit, you see through the lens of spirit, and miracles are easy to spot. Even the tiniest ones sparkle in your eyes as great and valuable gifts. Right now, know that whatever is moving through your life is an essential part of your destiny. Be present and be grateful for this is a holy and this is true and in, per, uh, and in perfect divine form. You're in an auspicious place and you can be assured that all is well. Relinquish the focus and need for more on the outside. Turn inward appreciation and reverence for the divine is all you need be open to receive your blessings i love love that because it resonates with what i said scorpio about being grateful when we first open this reading gotta be grateful remember i heard saying like you know thank you just off rip without even knowing what's going on just know that something's going on and it's going on in your favor say thank you now say thank you now all right we're going to read number 27 27 is every word has power key concepts the influence of words education power of persuasion how we communicate information affirming self-talk being mindful of internal dialogue all right words provide a meaningful container for our thoughts intentions and overall energy Every word we say, whether aloud or silently, resonates with an influential frequency, sending out a signal that connects with its 
counterpart in the material world. How we communicate is reflected by the infinite intelligence within the surrounding field of energy and the people who we are influenced or impacted by what we say. Right now, you have a lot of power. Your words will either support someone or catapult them into chaos. Be mindful in how you approach others and be as neutral as possible. You are not responsible for other people's triggers, but use discernment and compassion as you communicate. Even with when settling or setting boundaries, keep and respectful words have the most, or sorry, kind and respectful words have the most power. Diplomacy and tact go a long way when so many are feeling vulnerable. Be clear about what you are saying and ask for clarity from others. In every word, there is either a sword or a magic wand. Choose the wand. That felt good. That felt good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Spirit, for the messages. I hope it resonates. I hope it helps Scorpio. If not for you, it definitely did for me. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.